Reprojecting. Dave, what can you tell us about reprojecting? Well, reprojecting is taking an image in, that is captured or produced in one coordinate system and moving it to another coordinate system, which might be more useful to your, to your users. So to do that, for raster, we like to put down an explicit reprojector because you can get at some of these other settings then, which this one again. And you, and you recommend bicubic? Bicubic for imagery. For numeric rasters, which we also do, uh, nearest neighbor probably works better. OK. And so um, off it goes, and it'll do that. And FME supports a very large number of coordinate systems um, and a large number of different datum techniques. We also have some specialty coordinate system support in there for our friends in Ireland and in Switzerland and Germany. Some of these niche markets have specific algorithms that they want used, and we do have those in there as well. Yeah, and we also have specific uh, reprojectors for those algorithms, like the GP Trans reprojector right. or G -trans. Here it is. the Grid Inquest reprojector. Grid Inquest. That's the one for Ireland. Yes. And I was lucky enough to go there earlier this year. It's a great country, Dave. Oh, okay. And doesn't not very big, so it doesn't need a lot of complicated shift grids for reprojection, I don't think. And that's one good advantage if you're a small country. Yes. So. Anyway, uh, that's that. We also can actually integrate the Blue Marble reprojection engine in here if you prefer to use that, and it will be used for our reprojection as well. Yeah, as well, if you have ArcGIS installed, you can also use the Esri reprojection engine. Right. Using the Esri reprojector. Right, right, right. Forgot about that. So that's reprojection.